Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. everyone. In this tutorial, we are going to learn the difference between Von Neumann and Harvard architectures. Uh, one Neumann architecture or Harvard architecture, both are architectures or design layouts for uh, digital systems or computer architectures or uh, microcontroller systems or microprocessor systems, right? So some of them follow von Neumann architecture, some of them follow Harvard architecture, but these are basics uh, of uh, or basic foundation of uh, digital systems, right? So we need to know the basic difference uh, them, right? So uh, if we uh, follow the Harvard architecture, uh, I will uh, be uh, more uh, fluent towards Harvard architecture because it's quite simple, it's quite easy to understand, right? Uh, though it, it came later on, right? So Harvard architecture is something uh, in which uh, you know that uh, every uh, basic block of computer system or digital system is CPU, memory and input output devices. So in this system, you can see the uh, all three things, right? So IO devices are connected to your CPU. That means your input and output devices are connected to CPU. CPU can uh, take input from IO device, input device, right? Or uh, can display some certain information on output device, right? Uh, furthermore, CPU needs memory to process the things because CPU itself can actually only process, but it cannot store the data. So to, for storage purposes, we need memory. We need storage place, right? So there are two types of memories. I hope you remember, we have already discussed this thing in previous tutorials. So program memory and data memory. What is data memory? Data memory is a storage place where we actually put only data or data to be manipulated or information to be stored, right? But what is the program memory? Program memory is something in which we store instructions, we store our code, we store our uh, program, uh, which uh, are to be followed by CPU, right? So that means program memory can also be known as code memory in which we place only the uh, code, right? So uh, in Harvard architecture, data memory is physically separate from program memory, right? So you can see in this chart or in this diagram that data memory is totally different uh, way and program memory is totally different way, right? So CPU, uh, if CPU need to fetch information from uh, instructions, so it will go to program memory. And if CPU want to store something, some information, it will go to data memory, right? So this is Harvard architecture. But what is difference between von Neumann and Harvard architecture? So let's come back to the classical von Neumann architecture. So what is von Neumann architecture? In, if you, you can see it from the diagram, data memory and program memory, right? Both are placed in one single unit. That is one physical memory. And whenever uh, that physical memory is divided into uh, portions of data memory and program memory. So same memory is used for storage of data. That is means information, right? And uh, that memory is also using, uh, is used for uh, code storage, right? So this is, uh, th that means you need only one physical memory and CPU will need to know uh, uh, the information which is it is fetching, it is data or program. So one human requires much more management compared to Harvard architecture. It is the kind of uh, more uh, uh, disadvantage of one human architecture. But on the other hand, it is a cheaper one. It's more cost effective. It has only one chip available. Uh, there you need two different chips available, right? Furthermore, in Harvard architecture, if you see, uh, you need to know, uh, uh, are you talking about uh, the management is easy. I mean, uh, you can easily, uh, if you want to fetch information, you will go to program memory, right? Uh, if you want to uh, fetch uh, if, uh, some information uh, from storage places, so you will go to data memory, right? So the, the management is quite easy, but it is expensive on another way. Uh, so these are the two uh, major advantages and disadvantages, but you can actually list so many others, but I'm targeting only the classical one, right? So I hope you know the difference between von Neumann and, architect uh, and Harvard architecture. Summarizely, you can say von Neumann have only one physical memory, which is logically divided into data and program, right? 
Harvard architecture have two separate memories for data and program memory. I hope you have understand this concept. If you have any question and query, you can post them in comment section. Thank you so much for listening.